Paul, first things first, I think we've got to be extremely proud of that performance. Oh, I am. I'm massively proud of what we've just shown out there tonight. Um, I thought we were a little bit nervous to start the game, I accept that. Um, but probably when the goal, after the goal, I thought we properly took a grip of the game. I thought we created some fantastic chances. Um, unfortunately, over the last month or two, it's been the story that we've talked about, not finishing those chances. And I, I don't know how many we've had. It must have been four, five, maybe even six really good chances. Um, I just thought the performance, the energy, the personality that we showed was fantastic. And that starters, that was the finishers who came on. I thought they made an impact. And um, it's given us real belief to take into the next game now. It's not just the chances, it's the areas we got into as well. We were in good areas so many times. There's a lot to check out of this. Yeah, we were. I thought we put some really good crosses in as well. Jack Armour, Taylor Charters. Um, we, we got into some good positions. It's just getting that final little bit right. It's getting that final finish on it which we didn't quite have today. Um, you know, I think of, of Ryan Edmondson's header where he looks like he's stretching and I don't know whether it was whether it's a, as good a chance as it seemed. Christian Dennis, I thought the goalkeeper did really well because he stood up long enough. I think Denno was wanting to just dink it and he stood up and gave us a problem. Um, we've had some good chances um, and I think we've shown that we can compete against these. Uh, we've shown that we can handle the occasion um, after that early early little bit of nervousness um, and it's given us some real belief to take into the game at home. You've said it there, the occasion like this, it can be energy sapping. We went the other way, we used it to fuel what we were doing. Uh, without a doubt, I thought we showed real energy about us. I know that we've got fit players in there, even the lads who are coming off the bench, they've got energy, they've got power and I think they've shown it tonight. And. Um, you know, they were hanging on in the end. I know they kept going for it a little bit, but they were hanging on in the end and we weren't, we just weren't able to get that little bit of quality in that final third to go and finish things off properly. The goal for, for us watching was really frustrating because we seemed to be so well set defensively for the rest of the 90 minutes. Well, I think we won the first header. I think if I remember right, it might have been Callum. I thought he won the first header. The next header's come back on quickly um, and, and he's, he's put the lad in. Maybe we should have cleared it when, when Jack Armour's come across. We were a little bit on our heels um, and he stuck it away really well. Um, they had a couple of other half chances first half, but overall, I think we've created the better chances. I think we've, we've dealt with the game really well. They'll be delighted at, at winning 1-0 um, because we've had some real, real good chances um, and it certainly sets it up for the second leg. What did you say to them at half-time? Because we really went for it second half. We just said we needed to take a little bit more care on our passing. We were a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit sloppy in the first half. So we just said to take a little bit of extra care, to move the ball a little bit quicker and be prepared to run in behind because that's where we'll cause problems. And again, I'll say it, I thought we did cause them problems without actually probably working the goalkeeper enough. I mean, a couple of those set plays, I, I don't know how, I think there was two of them. I, I half jumped up thinking they'd gone in, one first half, one second half. Um, we're a threat. When we get that delivery right, when we get the desire to go and get on the end of it, and when we get people running in behind, we've shown this evening that, that we can be a threat and we've got to do it again on Saturday. We have to be even more of a threat and, and finish things off, but I think we've shown that we're, we're more than capable of getting a result at home. Those two lads, the, the two changes that you made, it backs up exactly what you said last week. When we make these changes, they come in and they perform. Yeah, they do. Um, I felt a bit sorry for Joe Garner tonight. I, I thought it was incredible. I mean, five times he's been smashed off the ball today in the first half. Um, I just hope the referees are homer when we're playing at Brunton Park next Saturday because I thought he was today. Um, I don't think that's the reason that we've lost the game 1-0, but there were so many decisions that he has given in their favour and he's not given us anything. And that's really frustrating because I think this guy's a good referee. On today's performance, I thought he was good for the home team, but not for us. Some of the passages of the play were a pleasure to watch. Yeah, they were brilliant. Some real good football, real composure as well. We, we stretched them, we got into wide areas and we got decent balls in, particularly from the left-hand side. Maybe needed a bit better quality from the right. Um, but we've, we've had some good control possession against a really good Bradford City side. They're, let's not underestimate them. They're a good side. They've got good players. And I think this has been a fantastic advert for League Two football. I thought the whole crowd were magnificent. The atmosphere that, that the, the Bradford fans created before the game, the noise they made during the game, especially when they scored, 
but fair play to our fans, they have backed us today, they have come in the numbers, they have made an incredible noise and I'm really looking forward to seeing them come out again in numbers for our game next weekend. What did you say in the huddle at the end? I just said we've shown that we can compete, we've shown that we've got on enough the only thing missing today was the finish um, and we have to get back to finishing next weekend and if we do that we can certainly win this tie it's massively set up you said that right at the start mm, oh it isn't our set up you know we the big big thing today i came to win this game we wanted to win this game today but the most important thing is to stay in the tie now i know we've given them a goal start going into next saturday but if we can go and play the same way that we have done for the majority of that game and create those chances, I really think that we have players who can score. At times, that 2,500, out some 18,000, that was a pleasure to watch, wasn't it? They were magnificent. Fair play to them. They've been an absolute credit to this football club all season, our supporters. And I do think Bradford City have been a credit to their supporters, have been a credit to them as well today. Um, this was a, two football teams wanting to go hammer and tong, doing it properly. Um, sets of supporters who've done it properly, who've supported their teams. Now we need it again on Saturday. Now we need to get them in in the numbers again this weekend and hopefully we can put on a performance, get the finish at the end of the, the chances we're creating and let's see where it takes us. The waterworks is ours, all four sides of that ground packed next Saturday. That would make a huge difference. Oh, it's going to make a difference, yeah. We need them. We desperately need them next weekend. I think the players have, have responded after a nervous start today. They've responded to the atmosphere, to the crowd, to our fans encouraging them. They've shown a level of performance that's been really, really pleasing pleasing um, now we need another one we need another one to give us a chance of a third game thanks for your time